So guys, I just picked up this airbrush and the compressor. It's my first airbrush for it that I've ever owned, and it's the Iwata Eclipse. Um, and it's also got some airbrush uh, cleaner and some paints, and the I don't remember what it's called, but it keeps some water out of your airbrush. And I also got the Iwata uh, Ninja Jet compressor. I've opened both of these but I haven't done too much with them. So we're gonna open up the compressor first. It comes with this hose. It's plastic. It's pretty nice. It can stretch out quite a ways. Then it comes with the compressor. Which is really nice. I've used this a couple times before and it it just does a nice job so this air compressor can go up to 40 psi so now we're going to unbox the eclipse um pretty nice packaging um so when we first get it out it's pretty heavy in the hand which i like that uh it's got a good weight to it it is a double action so, it's a gravity feed one, obviously. It's got, I think, a 9mm cup, which it holds a lot of paint. Then we got the wrench. The wrench only tightens up here, but everything else you can basically finger tighten. So we'll put that back into here. And look at the bottom. So it's got, it's in this nice blue foam, pretty good. So down here will be some of the paints, and the airbrush cleaner, it's open, that's weird. Uh, but yeah, paints, airbrush cleaner, and this lube stuff, every time you clean, get a really good cleaning on your airbrush, you want to put some of this inside of the moving parts. It'll just keep it smooth. And so then we got this. I don't remember what it's called, but it helps regulate the 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 water in the airbrush. And then we, it looks like we got a sticker of Iowata, which looks pretty nice. Then we got pamphlet thing about like how to airbrush and stuff which that could be helpful for me since first time ever owning an airbrush or ever using an airbrush and so yeah that's basically it and the unboxing part I'll load up some paint in it and get it started and show you how it works so we're gonna load up some paint into this uh, red color that they gave us it's already thinned down we'll do another video on how to thin and clean your airbrush paint and clean your airbrush so it's got the nice cap that fits on there pretty good so now over here is the knob I really like how they did that with the Iowata uh, knob for PSI um, so then we turn it on. It's pretty quiet for an airbrush. Well, for an air compressor. It is a dual action. So you push down for, uh, <laughs> for air. And then, which we need to turn to the side. For, for air and pull back for paint. Uh, so it's pretty nice. Because I've used this a little bit before, there are a little bit of paint splattering. Just because I haven't cleaned it out the best. But, let's turn down the PSI just a little bit more. And, so we can get pretty fine lines if we can actually get paint through. So, pretty fine lines. 
if you're using it for modeling. But other than that, you may want a thinner needle. And then also you can get a pretty big lines like that. And so guys, this product is very nice for a first airbrush. Um, it's worked good for all the airbrushing that I've done so far. Um, I'd recommend this product for new users of airbrush like myself or if you just want a cheap and easy airbrush this kit was about three hundred dollars uh, but it's still pretty expensive but there are expensive or more advanced airbrushing kits out there so guys this is about about bit for this video I cannot talk today uh, so please like and subscribe and I'll see you later